Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're covering Aqua de Palma's Rosa Noble. This one is actually one of my favorite perfumes for women. It's really nice. It uses one of my favorite notes for women's perfumery, which is peony. And obviously, like the name suggests, it combines it with rose, but it's really, really nice. So when you first spray this one, it's a very bright, uplifting rose. There's a little bit of uh, citrus in the opening, which just makes it kind of fresh. The rose comes across uh, like the color of the bottle and the color of the juice. It's like, um, it's more of a pinked rose, but I think that's the combination of the peony mixing with the rose notes, because peony kind of smells pink. And it's beautiful. It's this light, effervescent, bright floral that smells pink, and it's kind of musty, a little bit musky. There's a sprinkle of pepper, but on my skin, that's a quite light element. I actually read a few reviews on this one and some people, the pepper was quite prominent. So maybe that's based on skin chemistry, but for me, the pepper is pretty subtle on my skin. It doesn't really come out too much. It's more a musky pink rose and peony combo. It suffers a little bit in projection on my skin. It doesn't lift off all that much. It's more in intimate kind of space. And in terms of longevity, around five hours on my skin, so it's not hugely long lasting, but it definitely gives you enough uh, to enjoy it through the day, mostly. But it smells great, it's one of my favorite fragrances, like I say, for women. It's very, very pretty, and it smells quite versatile in the sense that you could wear this casually in just like chill out kind of dress at home, or a more formal occasion if you're going out to a fancy dinner or whatever it might be like it it feels like it can work for pretty much any occasion it's light enough to be able to wear it in the summer without being cloying and i would say spring is the ideal season for this fragrance it might struggle a little bit in the winter with a really the really cold weather but summer spring and autumn perfect seasons for the fragrance and to me it's just beautiful i mean if I had a girlfriend, I would definitely 100% buy her a bottle of this one. It's really, really nice. There's not much change in the scent apart from it basically uh, kind of drying down and disappearing. <laughs> it's quite a linear fragrance. Really, all you're going to get is a pinked peony rose combo that is a little bit musky and it's going to dry down exactly like that and not really change. So a little bit linear. There's an element to the fragrance that reminds me a little bit of lotion because it kind of smells creamy to my nose. So kind of imagine a pink kind of musky rose scented body lotion maybe and that will give you kind of a good picture of what to expect with this, but very, very pretty. There's also the notes of violet and lily of the valley in here and I think you do get just little nuances of those. Um, not main notes, but definitely little nuances with the rose and the peony being kind of the main florals. I think the pricing is relatively good for this one. It's around £77 for a 50ml from me searching on Google, which is pretty much the same cost as something like Chanel um, Coco Mademoiselle, which is another one I really like. So they are pretty much the same price level as kind of the higher end designer. So I think the pricing is pretty fair. It would be nice maybe if it lasted a little bit longer, but I'm sure it does on some people's skin, but five hours to me is not bad regardless. One I think is really, really beautiful, and when I do a top five or top 10 niche women's list, this would be uh, definitely in that list. It's uh, a great option. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon with the next one. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm.